Oh no, Joey. Come on, you got me. Come on, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. How to be? I only got to know when last someone walked out. But you really walked out today. You sweat everything that you need. Great this uh, occasion, this farm allocation occasion today. I really want to have and it's been a wonderful day. And I pray that today you are buying one plot, you are buying plot. When next you are going to come, you are going to get hectare. When it's going to be ah, if I did not, I would have bought more than this. I wish us uh, a wonderful, peaceful. We want to measure it in terms of uh, Please, can you raise your mind up? Let me just let me just no evidence. Let me just see here. I am your partner. Evidence. Evidence. Let me 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 to allocate people's property to them, people who have purchased Pineapple Farm Estate. Because we have the largest Pineapple Farm Estate in Africa. And we want people to see where their money is and the value for their money. And that's why we are here today. Thank you. As we speak, what is the size of a Pineapple Farm that you have now? What we have here now, we have over 1,000 hectares here now. Okay. Uh, can you explain to us the value chain in pineapple? Thank you. Uh, when we are talking about the value chain in pineapple, it is enormous because from the pie to the pineapple to the pea to the crown to the fruit, everything is useful. And I'm proud to let you know that the back of the pineapple, which is the pea that people can just throw away and say this is useless, you can make fuel from it. In fact, you can make biofuel that can power your car, power your generator, and give you a source of light because it's renewable energy. The pine of the pineapple, you can make cloth from it, just like the one I'm wearing. I do this one is not made from pineapple, but cloth can be made from pineapple, disposable uh, uh, plates and spoon. Shoes can be made from pineapple because of the fiber. All right, you talked about um, empowering about 50,000, you know, pineapple farmers in five years. Could you elaborate the collection on that? All right, thank you. Uh, our plan or our dream is to make Nigeria exporter of pineapple. Currently, Nigeria is the eighth largest producer of pineapple in the world. Yet, we are still importing pineapple because we could not... Uh, and we could not save the demand for pineapple even in our country. And this is the, this is the, this is the challenge that the V-Dollar as a company have seen and we want to solve that problem by empowering our 50,000 Nigeria with 50,000 hectares of pineapple farm within the next five years. This will solve problem of unemployment. This will increase our, our, our forex because when we are producing more than what we are, what more than what we can consume, then we can export and generate forex for the nation. Okay, so today's allocation, how many persons will be allocating? Um,
crop to stay and of course what's the overall goal for this okay today allocation will be allocating for more than 200 people who has bought one plot one acre three acre five acres that is what we are doing today uh, nigerians are appealing to government to diversify from uh, oil uh, what is your call on government, both the federal and the state, especially in embracing a pineapple plantation? My call to the government of the day in embracing pineapple production is to give us enabling environment where a company uh, can thrive. It's just for government to give us enabling environment and whichever way they can support us in terms of of grant of loan it is appreciable and it's something that we can we can we can we can work on can you expand it on the uh, enabling environment? environment okay when we are talking uh, talking about enabling environment yeah uh, is an environment that is full of peace void of any any uh, 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 insecurity and making everything that is necessary that can that can that can make nigeria and agriculture a productive sector for the nation that is what we are expecting from government to create an enabling environment are you looking at future partnership with the government or world bank or any other government? of course we are we are open to any other uh, 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 ngo private organization government foreign direct investment we are open we are open because this this goal of uh, empowering uh, 50,000 farmers in Nigeria, it is not a small job. So it's not something that we alone can just do. Yes, we have the expertise. We have we know the, we have the technical know how of the pineapple, like what you can see. You can see that this pineapple you are seeing, and they are very very uh, healthy. So the knowledge we have in production of pineapple, we want to give to as many people as possible, so that we can achieve that goal to make Nigeria exporter of pineapple and create creating job opportunity for the people in our country. What's your message to youths like us who embrace a jackpot to do sort of a junk's job over there? My, my word to the youth who want to jackpa is for them to jackpa that. Because if you are looking for a green pasture somewhere, there's somebody behind the scene that is watering that land why it makes it greenish so what we have in Nigeria, we have the best land we have the best crop. in fact nigeria is the, is the is the greatest of the country in any part uh, is the greatest country in the world why do i say so if you are passing through now and you drop something you drop a, a seed of tomato it will grow we have good land we, when, we, when we are talking about manpower we have we have it we have the highest, the, 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 the highest black race in the, world, in the world. Why? Because we have the power, we have everything that can make Nigeria great. So why do you want to run away and when you get, get there, is that you are doing labor, you are doing a, a, a factory, factory worker, and then you are even suffering and smiling. No matter what you think you are getting over there, you can get much more in Nigeria. We, and that's why we are telling the government that please create create enabling environment so that our people that is jackpa they can jackpa there thank you, for thank you. Your full name and your designation. my name are uh, ambassador shegun alabi the ceo of david dollar nigeria limited founder of david dollar farms we are pineapple farmers and we are proud to be a farmer let me take that thing. just just one minute three two one go I am uh, Ambassador Shegun Alabi, the CEO of David Dollar Nigeria Limited, founder of David Dollar Farms. We are pineapple farmers and we are proud to be a farmer. Let's join hands together and make agriculture in Nigeria great again. All right, so is it safe to also call you a great business expert? Yes. pineapple between 600 to 1000 metric tons per day so the pineapple that go into that production is not small
But when you see people that want to hit the rice, then when you go to the kitchen and make the rice, then you'll be happy because there's somebody you want to serve. Because a lot of companies go up because they don't imagine, oh, there's a buyer over there. By the time your food is ready, your produce is ready, there's no buyer. But in pineapple, it's not. Please encourage your friend. Let your friend encourage 